Just heard more uh, tall tales about Philip, uh, what Philip said about me. Philip, why don't you tell everybody that you kept and will not give back my birth certificate and my social security card? Why don't you talk about that? If you want to involve the government in your finances and in our marriage that you did and your previous marriage after you were already creepily obsessed with Brian Dudlinger, uh, and why didn't you tell him about our wedding night when for our wedding night you wanted to do color pencils with Brother Brian? Did you ever tell him that? <laughs> anyway, why didn't you tell him about when Marie came over after we had worked on making our bedroom this beautiful sanctuary and Marie, your daughter, her bedroom a beautiful sanctuary and I came home and you were, bef right before that, what was that, a day or two days before that, that you um, set up the ministry office for her to watch Beetlejuice after your preaching against Hollywood movies. And then I come home and she's tucked into my side of the bed, my side of the bed, and you and her are watching Carol Burnett movies, throwing M&Ms at each other. This was just last year. This was not that long ago, people. And he still has my birth certificate and my social security card and made it illegal for me to go get my things. Why don't you tell people about that, Philip? You're a real piece of work, you know that? The Air Force did a lot of good for you. Don't, he said, don't involve the government in our marriage. He married another woman, was still married after he was obsessed with Brother Brian, married her, and then married me, wouldn't produce a certificate of divorce from her. Uh, and then, and there's a whole other thing on that too, because he said he thought he might be married and I stopped talking to him for two weeks. And I said, I really care about you, Philip, but I'm not even going to go about getting involved with somebody that could be still married because I won't involve myself. I fear the Lord and I won't get into, he's an adulterous relationship. And then he calls me two weeks later. He's a liar because I found out he's still married to her. Why don't you guys do your own research? He set up the ministry office for his daughter to watch Beetlejuice. And then when I walked in on them, not a couple days later, watching Carol Burnett movies, throwing M&Ms at each other, her tucked into my side of the bed, I left crying. I took his truck because I didn't want her to, her and I were really close and she always felt like she could talk to me. And I didn't want her to see me mad at her dad and crying. So I took the truck and left and he told everybody that I left drinking and driving. My entire family, all my cousins, my mom, my sister, my brother, they all know I would never do that. I did that 13 years ago and I would never, ever, ever do that again, ever. And he falsely accused me. So he can go stick it where the sun don't shine.